Hey everyone, it's Justin here. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about something new in San Diego called the Goal Framework. All right, so this is something new and there's some, actually some exciting stuff coming out this month. I can't talk about it right now, but I'm making this video to prep uh, for what's coming. And so I want to introduce the Goal Framework. Uh, I spent a little bit of time with this to, to make sure I understood it. And uh, if you remember, if you've used Strategic Portfolio Management, formerly IT Business Management, you've always had the ability to associate strategies and goals with your demands and projects. Um, so let's look at that, what that used to look like. If we go to, um, this is actually Rome. Um, if I was to look at a goal in Rome that I would associate with a project, I had a short description for that goal and a state very lightweight you know it met most of you know what people needed to align to uh, for their goals in their organizations but very lightweight so with this new goal framework that ServiceNow has introduced we've got a couple of key components strategic plans strategic priorities and then goals and targets to associate with those plans and priorities. Uh, so what does this look like? Let's take a look at a strategic plan in San Diego. So I have here uh, about five or six of them, technology factor, competitive factors. Let's open one up. And um, you're gonna see a couple of things in here that um, are part of the goal framework, but require a different plugin to be installed. So there's something called Alignment Planner Workspace. I'm gonna cover that in a different video. Um, but in that workspace, you need that it installed in order to see the strategic plans and strategic priorities. And with that, you have this concept of planning organizations. So think of planning organizations like enterprise planning, division level planning, department level planning, and maybe even a group level planning, right? So you can define that planning organization hierarchy however you'd like with that alignment plan or workspace. Once we have that, we can establish a strategic plan like you're seeing here. We can give it a name. We can set a sponsor for it, a start date, an end date, a description, a vision, a mission, right? So something that's really helpful to outline what that strategic plan is. And with that strategic plan, down here on the very bottom comes this strategic priority. Now we're starting to see some project management stuff come in with Megan Burke as a portfolio manager. So a strategic priority in this example is gonna be the introducing innovation at pace. So with this priority, we get a similar structure, start date, end date, and owner, uh, we still have, uh, or we have this new thing for a, a type of strategic priority. So we've got a strategic target, a key initiative, uh, or operating principle, relationship strategy, environmental, social governance, right? We can modify these types and specify different ones and then put a description around the strategic priority. What comes underneath a strategic, strategic priority is goals, all right? So this is where we get to the goals and the goal framework. So for this one, we have um, an approval process, right? So we have a different state associated with these goals. Um, in this one, we've got accelerate delivery of innovation, build dynamic, cost-effective, and business-centered systems. Let's open one up and see what it looks like. This is a strategic goal. It can have parent goals. So we've got a hierarchy amongst our goals themselves. This is gonna be important when we're looking at targets for our goals, because our progress to completing those targets is gonna vary based on the number of sub-goals for those goals. But uh, so we can have a parent goal. We've got it associated with the strategic priority we were just looking at. We can categorize this goal as all the options you can see here. I don't need to read them off to you. Um, it's part of this planning organization. We've got a start, we've got an end date. We've got an owner for it, system admin. Um, we've got contributors so we can uh, log different people um, as contributors to that goal. And look at this, a progress meter. So we're gonna, ServiceNow is gonna calculate our progress based on the targets that are associated with this goal. Now on this one, I don't have any targets set, so I'm gonna create one live here in front of you so you can see how that works. But I did wanna point out before I jumped into that, a status, green, yellow, red, almost like your project management there. I've got targets, sub goals, projects, demands, programs, epics, initiatives, and big rocks that can all be associated with goals. Okay, this is important. So when you're doing the project management pieces or demand intake um, or looking at Agile and in the alignment planner workspace, again, I'll have another video on that. We have this concept of initiatives and big rocks. Hopefully you can see the subtext of what ServiceNow is building here, right? They're not done. There's more coming in this framework, but let's go ahead and set a target. So we'll build a target just to show you what's possible here. Demo target. 
And the important fields for this one are going to be right here in the middle. So um, the base value, let's just say we're trying to get to um, the 20% or something like that. So we'll say the base value is zero, the target value is 20, and the actual value, we'll just say we're at 5%, okay? And so you may be wondering, well, Justin, how do I percent, right? So what we do is we come up here to this measure piece and we define what we're actually measuring. So in this case, we're gonna do uh, percent instead of dollars or numbers or days, right? So those are our options there. Now you may be wondering, well, is this auto gonna update based on project status, demand status? No. So the check-in frequency you define daily, weekly, fortnightly, I haven't seen that one before, or monthly, and you would come in here and update that, at least at this point in the evolution of the product. Product, yep. Um, we can still have a green, yellow, red indicator on it, but let's go ahead and submit this. And now we've got a target set for this particular goal. Now notice what happened. I'm gonna move my head over here to the left. I've got a progress meter for the goal itself at 25%. So we can see that uh, that updated the progress for the particular goal up here at top to 25%. Now if we have different sub goals and those are all have their own percentages, there's some math, you can see it in the ServiceNow documentation on how this progress meter for the goal is calculated. So there's some stuff going behind the scenes, some jobs that are doing that calculation in order to present that to you. What does all this look like on the project side? Let's go and open a project. Uh, I thought I had that in my favorites, but I don't. So we'll just open a project. Now you can do what I'm about to do on a demand as well. It doesn't have to be a project. Um, here we go, projects. And I'll just open all of them. I'm gonna move my head back over to the right so we can see. Uh, we'll open this manage HR documents implementation. If you've seen a uh, business case on a project before, there was strategies, there was goals, and you could associate, it was a slush bucket. You could associate more than one of them with your uh, uh, project or demand. Now in San Diego, you set a primary goal for that particular project. So you'd see the list of goals here um, that we were just looking at in the goal framework and you can associate it with it and that'll automatically associate a strategic priority because we have that relationship between goals and strategic priorities. So that's about it for the goal framework at this point. It looks simple, but it's actually the base foundation for some big things to come. If you think about what modern organizations are doing around OKRs and strategic planning and strategic priorities and making sure that teams are working on the right things there's big stuff to come here lots of capabilities look for my future video on alignment planner workspace where a lot of this goal framework comes into play as we're looking at roadmaps and planning out things for our organization I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested until next time I'll see you on the next one